Today's quill gun experiment is going to use phototransistor triggered transistors. The problem with using SCRs is that they don't turn off until the capacitor is completely discharged. So with increasing velocities, the coil is still going to be energized as the projectile leaves the coil. It's either that or you use smaller capacitors. Now your energy level drops. So let's see what happens. On the first three stages of this coil gun, I'm going to use SCRs for the switch because of their high current carrying capacity. These SCRs are rated at like 600 amps single shot surges. Also the first coil have a lot of turns on that because we're accelerating from a standing start. Then I use less turns on the next two stages. That helps a lot. I have an overall efficiency on the first three stages of like 6.5%. And then, the following five stages, I'm using IGBTs. The first stage SCR uses an 820 microfarad capacitor. The next two stages are 330 microfarad. And the IGBTs use a 1000 microfarad capacitor. I am using an LM311 comparator for the phototransistor trigger and the TC4422s for the driver for the IGBT transistors. An overview of the setup. Eight phototransistors, eight separate drivers. That's the projectile we'll be using. The one on the right is 18.5 grams. The one on the left is 22 grams. This setup requires two power supplies, one for the IGBT stage and one for the SCR stage. So there are two independent meters. Here goes a coronagraph reading with three stages of SCRs only. 420 volts. Here's our coronagraph reading, just over 90 feet per second. This is going to be the 22 gram projectile. It seems strange, but the heavier projectile actually goes faster than the lighter one at 104.4 feet per second. Here's our voltmeter. It's on the SCR stage. Here goes 18 grams. That's just about 129 feet per second. 22 grams with 300 volts on the IGBT. It's just under 130. Here goes 18 grams. One thirty point two, and this is the scope probe right on the IGBT. And here's the issue with the inductive kickback on quail turnoff. See that second spike on the right? That is an issue. It's less than one millisecond per division. This is with the shorter projectile. You can see the higher velocity. So I was hoping if I could increase the efficiency, I'd increase the velocity, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I really need some larger IGBT switches to really switch the current. 
The limiting factor on this setup was those um, IGBTs at a peak current capacity, like 200 amps. And with the components I had, this is about all I could do. So I guess I'd need uh, another setup.